Yes, yes, Kenya. Tamu sana, tamu sana, tamu sana, yes. In this video, I want us to have a look at a clip of Musale Mudavadi, a clip that has been going viral since yesterday. In the clip, we are seeing Musale Mudavadi being head called in Bondo constituency, CIA County. Have a look at this before we continue. Katika hali ya kujaribu kurekebisha uchumi katika taifa letu. Kenya 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 ina inazungumza na marafiki. Inazungumza na marafiki kutoka mataifa tofauti. Na vijana wanasema ukweli wakati tulichukua serikali mimi nilikuwa mmoja wa kwanza kuwaambia kwamba tutakuwa na shida nilisema hivyo nilisema kwamba mimi kama mmoja ambaye alikuwa minister for finance katika taifa letu la Kenya nilikuwa nimeona hesabu ya taifa letu na nikajua kwamba kuna madeni mazito na shida na shida itakuja na hiyo shida kulipa itatuumiza sisi wote I said this and I repeat it here and I say there is no walk in the park Tutaumia lakini we shall succeed There is hope at the end of the road Hiyo sawa sawa and I like this debate I like the debate because it is it means that we are all alive to what is happening and i can tell you that we are going to work through the difficult times and you will see the difference this again nasema muniangalie vizuri you shall see it jambo ambalo tena nataka nihimize tuambia anataka sana to buy a generator that will serve this building properly asanteni sana god bless you i will also give my donation of 500000 to support the church the heckling of musala mudawadi is very interesting because it was heckled in front of the area member of parliament, Gideon Ochanda, the Bondo MP. We know that Ochanda crossed over in Naum working with Kenya Kwanza government. So Musalia was heckled in front of the area member of parliament among a host of other leaders, including Eliud Owalo. Let's have a look at what Musalia shared through his Facebook account of that event. Honorable Musalia W. Mudavadi, Proverbs 12, 11, those who work their land will have abundant food, but those who chase fantasies have no sense. Honored to have represented His Excellency, President William Samoy Ruto at the Thanksgiving and prayer service and the official opening of the ACK Trinity Church House at New St. Michael and All Angels Cathedral Grounds in Bondo, Siaya County. I encourage the church to exemplify humility as a virtue within society. Furthermore, the church should play a pivotal role in fostering peace in the country and supporting the government's initiative to unite Kenyans, enabling us to concentrate on revitalizing the economy. My gratitude to Reverend Prof. David Cordia, Bishop of the Anglican Diocese of Bondo, and the warm-hearted congregants and residents of Sierra for their exceptional hospitality. In attendance were Ministry of ICT, 
and the Digital Economy Cabinet Secretary, Eli Dowalo, State Department for Trade Principal Secretary, Alfred Kombudo, Governor Ken Lusaka Bungoma, Gideon Ochanda, MP Bondo, Beatrice Adagala, Women Rep Vihiga, and former Arieda MP Nicholas Gumbo, along with other distinguished national and lo local leaders. That's what Musalia posted of that event. So they were there for a church event. But listening to Musalia Mudavadi, he was clearly playing politics. And that might have informed why he was being heckled. I want to put all this into perspective for Kenyans to understand what that means for the rebels and also for William Ruto and the clear message coming from that heckling. If you are watching us but you have not yet subscribed, subscribe, give this video a like. Let's proceed. What's the political message, ladies and gentlemen? Bondo residents were sending a clear message to Musalia Mudavadi and to William Ruto that they are not happy with this government. His government has failed to deliver. That's the first message Bondo residents were sending to Ruto and Musalia Mudavadi. The second message William Ruto has been using the likes of Owalo and some members of parliament who did come from ODM and pledged their loyalty to William Ruto. Ruto has been using these leaders to make inroads in the Luo nation. Bondo residents were telling William Ruto that these individuals you're using to make inroads in our area, we don't recognize them. They don't represent our interests. And that's why they were heckling in front of those leaders, including the member of parliament, Gideon Ochanda, who is currently working with the Kenya Kwanza government. So Bondo residents were telling William Ruto that these are your men who are not representing our interests. The third message, residents of Bondo were also telling them area member of parliament, Gideon Ochanda, that he made a very big mistake by joining William Samoy Ruto. So that's an indirect way of telling him that you went there alone. You are working with William Ruto alone. You left us behind. And that spells doom for the area member of parliament. Because come the next election, it's almost guaranteed and certain he will be sent home. I think that's the message Bondo residents were also sending to their member of parliament. And if you look at that heckling, Musalia Mudavadi was also talking on how things are going to improve. The residents started heckling him there. And that's just a confirmation that Bodo residents understands politics of Kenya Kwanzaa, politics based on promises, propaganda, and falsehood. They were just telling Musalia Mudavadi, we are tired of this Kenya Kwanzaa lies. Ruto lies to us, you are also lying to us. They were telling him, stop the lies, Musalia Mudavadi. Above all, if you look on how Musalia started, there is also some lies being peddled that some roads have been completed or have been commissioned. The truth of the matter, all those roads have stalled. And Musalia was even forced to actually acknowledge that, that the contractor started and then left. So residents of Bondom were also just telling William Ruto and his team that when you come to our area, don't bring ghost projects. Last time William Ruto was there, 
and they launched some projects. Upon Ruto leaving that area, the projects stalled. That can also be a reason why Musalia was being heckled. So the lesson is learned. You can take your lies to any other place, but not in Bondo or in Siaya County. I think that was the clear message <laughs> that the residents were sending. Let me stop it there, ladies and gentlemen. If you are watching us, but you have not yet subscribed, subscribe, give this video a like. Those watching us outside Kenya, drop a comment, let us know from which part of the globe you are watching us from. The heckling confirms William Ruto is very unpopular in that part of the country. In not only that part of the country, but across the country. Let's meet in our next analysis. Thank you.